Today's training video will show us how to create a folder in Google Drive and how to manage your Share It With Me folder. I kind of clean it up a little bit because I know we get a lot of things shared with us and some things we need, some things we don't. So let's clean. Well, we will learn how to clean it up. Start here at our Apps button. Go to Google Drive. There we go. Now, Google Drive is best organized using folders. If you don't use folders, it gets very cluttered and crowded and very difficult to find things. As you can see, I have a lot of folders in here, and within those folders, I even have subfolders. So, to make a folder, we click on the new button and we click on folder. So, if you are a science teacher and you're teaching a unit on ecology, and you want to make a folder for it. So, we can call this one ecology. And click create, and then it will appear, there it is, in my Google Drive. So from here to open the folder, I double click on it. And as you can see, we just created it, so it is empty. Now there's two ways to fill it up. You either create the document directly in this folder, or you can upload files you already have into this folder. So do so, we go to the new. And first we'll talk about creating documents directly in the folder. If you want to do a word processing document, Google Docs is what you select, and then you type up your document. Google Sheets, you can make a spreadsheet like you do in Microsoft Excel. Google Slides, you can create a presentation like PowerPoint. Go to More, Google Forms is a good way to, do, to make exit slips, surveys, and quizzes. And if you selected Google Drawings or Lucidchart, you can make diagrams for whatever you need to whatever you need, you need to do. If you were to select either file or folder upload, you can upload folders or individual files that you already have saved on your computer and they will be saved directly into this folder. It's all up to you. Now a lot of you get tons and tons of documents shared with you and they go, they go directly, you first you get an email reminding you to open it, but they're always stored directly here in your shared with me folder. Now, I've, cle I've kept mine pretty clean, and I've only kept the ones that I think I need. Um, well, let <clears throat> let's say there's one in there that you say, you know what, I want to keep my own copy of it. So we'll take this one, for example, Summer PD from Tanya Gusev. So I want to keep a copy of that in my drive, so I click on it once to highlight it blue, and I go up here to where it says Add to my drive. And then it's going to ask me which folder in my drive I want to share it. Or do I want to move it to? So for this one, I'm going to put it in my my work folder. Double click on it, and then I hit move, and now it is a copy has been moved into my work folder. So if we go back to my drive, I can look and see that it's been put where I wanted it. Here's my work folder, and you can see if I scroll down, Summit PD. There it is. I have a copy of it now in my drive. It's not just share with me anymore. So if I don't need it anymore, click on, click on it again. I don't want to keep it in here since I already have my own copy. I can delete it, and now it's removed from my shared. I have my own saved copy in my drive. For whatever reason you want to bring it back, you can go to your trash and restore it back to this folder. So in review, we have learned how to create a folder in Google Drive and how to deal with the many files that are shared with us in our Shared With Me folder. You can make a copy of it, or you can delete it. It's up to you. So hopefully this has been helpful, and if you have any questions, shoot me an email, and I'll gladly assist.